You're taking a lot of money out of the pockets of some of the most vulnerable people in this country, disabled people, through PIP reductions and through ESA reductions. That those are the people who can least afford to, to pay the sacrifice, those with the, the weakest shoulders, if you like, and you're changing the rules deliberately to hit them. Is that really your priority? Well, I don't accept that at all. You know, we are increasing well, which spending. Which don't you accept? Well, uh, first, we are increasing spending on disabled people and the most disabled in our country get higher payments than they did under the last Labour government. So we're increasing the support we provide for disabled people. And by Six, the way, we're also... 640,000 well, people will be affected by PIP reductions well, by the end P of this The personal independence payments were introduced by this government to give those who really needed help more help, more support. By the way, we're, all, less. Well, hold on, we're also giving more support to people with mental health conditions, which didn't happen before. Now, when you've got a benefit like that, you have to make sure that it's properly managed, so the money goes to those who need it most. That budget is going up, and what we're saying, and what Ian Duncan Smith has announced, is that we have to look at some of the way the points are awarded to make sure that in a rising okay. budget, it goes to those who are most vulnerable. According to, your own, help according to your own government's figures, you're saving £1.2 billion by cutting payments well, to disabled people. Yeah, well, hold on, the, the budget is going up. So it's well, not, where, it, so won't, it, won't be, it won't be from. going up as much as, as, as was forecast. Be. That's because we're taking action. But, you know, controlling welfare bills is part of what you need to do if you are a secure country able to confront the problems it, in the world. And it, let me if tell this you that, all happens at the same time as you're raising thresholds well, to help middle class taxpayers, it's going to seem a very, very callous set of priorities. Well, as I say, we are providing more support to disabled people. And, yes, we back working people. Times are tough. You know, the fiscal situation is a difficult one because of what's going on in the world, because all Western countries, including our own, are, are, are not productive enough. But we can take action by making our economy more competitive, making our country better skilled, investing in the roads and the railways and the like that were not invested in before.